conversation most of us hate to talk about. Yes, finally, uh, Kate Kenshon is opening up about it. Well, this is quite a very dicey conversation because it actually may involve you. And of course, you may want to stick to listening to what Kate Kenshon is talking about. It has to do with lateness. I'm a 56-year-old diva. Well, recently she turned about 53, I think, or 53, guys, I beg your pardon, is speaking about it. Well, according to her, she said there's nothing like an African time. Punctuality is a must, and she actually avoids lateness. If there's anything in this world that Kate says that she actually cannot stand, aside from maybe cheating, she said, being late is actually one of the things that disgusts her the most. Well, on a viral tweet that has gone so, so, so wild on the internet, this diver is talking about the fact that let's just be punctual. And punctuality is something that actually brings a lot of glory. So let's quickly move on to the tweets that Kate has been speaking about, which actually was greeted with a lot of, uh, I should say, support. And she said, there is nothing like an African time. You are disrespectful and rude. If it comes to money matter, you will be the very early. Uh, you'll be very early, or you have an embassy appointment. Oh, guys, let me just take my time and read it because actually I'm overwhelmed with this. I know this topic actually is quite dicey, but I mean, let's just be careful. So he says there is nothing like African time. You are disrespectful and rude. If it comes to money matter, you will be very early, or you have an embassy appointment. Miss me. With that attitude, I detest lateness. She says, if there's anything that she abhors the most, she cannot stand. She actually cringe when it happens or it's about to happen. It's the fact that she just cannot stand lateness. But people are asking, so Kate, are you always punctual to wherever you, 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 wherever you go? These are the street questions. I'm just asking, Kate, are you always punctual? <laughs> but it feels like a lot of people who were, uh, went under her comment section were actually in agreement uh, with what she said or posted. And she said, well, well, in all her life, she's never been late to anywhere she's been. Whether at the airport, whether for movies, uh, you know, or cast or whatever. She's always been very punctual. And I'm like, okay, yes, ma. We, we, we understand you, Ma. I mean, you are the legend in the industry. So let's just, uh, you know, um, agree with you. But is she actually making sense? The fact that a lot of people actually consider lateness to be a norm and they feel like, well, in their own way, they have to appear or be present, whatever, whatever a time they, they, they feel. Well, according to her, she says that uh, aside from maybe cheating, cheating yeah this one i'm the one saying it she didn't say it aside from cheating which of course we have seen uh her breakup re uh, re uh, reports recently and she actually was in the news about that but aside from that she said if there's anything she just cannot stand it's about latest what do you think about it i really have my opinion about this um, circumstances could come and you won't be late for uh you know an appointment your meetings whatever but she says that if it becomes so repetitive and i'm sure she's talking from experience she probably might have been in that position where someone stood her by she was waiting for a role uh, or sorry she was waiting for another cast uh, to be present on set so they could shoot the movie and the person literally delayed and you know things we, we, we see all, and hear all these things happen in the movie space where a lot uh, another actor is accusing the fellow actor or director for waiting for a long time for another cast to be present before the movie continues and eventually the other actor is pissed about it because he or she also wants to hurry up and go wherever uh, he or she wants to go so this is an eye-opener conversation and kate is hitting the right um you know a nail on the head and eventually a lot of people are actually thumbs in her up. Speaking about Kate Kenshaw, she celebrated her 53rd birthday recently. Uh, congratulations to her. She looks super, super fantastic, adorable. 53 looks super good on you, Mama Kate. And of course, you are the real legend in the industry. Guys, let's get the conversation going. But let's, let me just put you on the screen again. Uh, her viral, um, you know, comments, whether you agree or just disagree. Please don't go after her. She just spoke the truth. She just spoke her truth. That's her truth. She says she abhors lateness. It's the same as someone would say that she just detests or does not like this particular thing. According to her, she just hates lateness. And that is for her. You may also want to disagree. I asked the question just as most of you asked uh, her a question that is she always punctual? I've asked her. I'm sure she's watching. She'll actually respond to that, but I don't know. <laughs> so she said that there's nothing like an African time. But speaking about an African time, 
and some part of Africa, I think in Ghana, the GMT has been rebranded into the Ghana Man Time. And so give a person like say six o'clock uh, and maybe call the person around. Um, okay, so if a person has a program, let's say uh, the next day, like six o'clock a.m., uh, he gets a call and be like, um, I think I'll be there around 5.30, latest by 6. The person is really sure about the time he or she will be present. So it'll be like, okay, give me like 5.30 or 4.30, latest by 6, I'll be there. So he or she is not really sure of the time he will get there. But he's, uh, sorry, she said, uh, she said that there's nothing like an African time. Well, unfortunately, kids, we are in Africa and they do, or we do the African way. I'm not condoning lateness anyway, but I think circumstances really, uh, sometimes come up and people are getting late or get late and of course um it, it gets them into trouble but this is a good advice that kate can show the legendary actress is sharing over there what do you think about it let us know on uh our comment section but before i wrap up again let me just tweet uh sorry i uh, read the tweet uh she posted on her twitter account uh which the funny thing is her friends didn't actually support it i didn't see any actress retweeting or reposting about it or uh, i think actually she was hitting at her, her her colleague actresses or actors in the industry because i'm as i said in the, in the beginning she literally might have had an experience in the field of work probably probably she might have suffered an experience well and she may uh, wanted to put out so people could know exactly what she has been dealing with as uh, she said uh, she said that there's nothing like an african time and uh you are so disrespectful and rude if it comes to money matter you will be very and it's 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 really true when somebody owes you and the person tells you that come the next day you are itching and eager to rush go for your money if you have an appointment with the uh, with the embassy um you have a flight or whatever a trip some people go to the extent of going to sleep inside wherever just to catch up on time but when it comes to things that really are not so of importance in quotes you know they try to I don't know, but she said there's nothing like an African time. What do you guys think about it? I could just go on and on and on, but I know, and she has said there's nothing like an African time. Ha! Ah. Kate, we thank you for this advice, okay? Guys, let's know what you think about it inside the comment section. So still on this Kate issue, I think I read a comment uh, which another fellow actor uh, was uh, saying similar thing about uh, the Kate story. And it, seemed, it really is not so much of an industry conversation. It really has to do with a general thing which happens in our society. Uh, in church, uh, do people get late to, you know, to church? Well, sometimes, I think. Uh, but when people get so late at, you know, I wouldn't say it. You know it. I'm not going to be the one to say it. I don't want to get into trouble. We know it. You guys, you know it. I, I, won't, I don't want to say it. So if you're watching me and you are so, you know, not punctual, Kate says, please be punctual for her. And there's nothing like an African time. Just put this in your head. There is nothing like an African time. If that be the case, it means that we all would have our own time to do whatever we want to do, to go wherever we want to go. But there are rules. And of course, time uh, are located to everything that we have to do. So be uh, the judge about this particular case issue. Thanks for watching.